you. She got a little ass on her, don't she? Just don't come back and we're square. <laughs> she lying, because the girls back in these days, the white girls, they ain't no ass. That's a lie. That's a lie. They lying right now. No more bloodshed, please. I'm sorry, Father. Consider this an act of divine retribution. That make us even. All right, man. The Saint and the Sinner Man. Welcome back, 1932. Shit, what Simple we doing What the? F oh. Oh, I can't never mind. afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. I'll give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? We have business to discuss, Paul. Nah, because you're going to have to let your boss win. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the coroner's office sent this over. Corpse's name is Giolotti. You recognize him? Sure. That's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now we got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We capped him. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. You want to drive a politician into Morella's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Oh, Christ. That gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but he was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Pauly. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. He made it? Yes. He spent the week in St. Mary's, but he pulled oh, wow. through. <sighs> can he point a finger at either of you? Hell yeah, he can. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Look, we're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. Michael's. Sam, you're gonna attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's gonna need a little distraction if he's gonna clean up your mess. You sending Tommy to dip his wick? It's a brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. The Don has invested a lot of money in it over the years. So, me and Sam. Regardless, the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. You want me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. <laughs> what? Morello wants wow. to take businesses away from us? He'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can't send Paulie and Sam See? since all the Not ladies things. know them already. They'd never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. They don't give a shit about people's livelihoods. Okay. All they care about is their livelihood paying them. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find them. If any of the horse see it, well, it'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah. But be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get made. Tommy, one more thing. One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her, too. You want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to Tom. But we gotta protect the family. Oh no, man! I'll Her kill name a woman. is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? I mean, if I have to, I guess. But yeah, Tom. I got it, boss. Then get it done. All right, let's go. All right, walk with Sam. Man, Sam, I'm digging a trench coat, bro. When am I? Well, see, when do I get to upgrade to a trench coat? I heard about their uh, Shut up, Uncle. Misfortune, Tom. We're gonna fix it. A lesson learned, I think, eh? Man, he's still talking from way back there. Vincenzo. Market for something that goes boom. Hell yeah, dynamite. Yeah, because we could just stick that in our coat pocket like Give that. Give those girls a squeeze from Uncle Vin, huh? Not today, Vinny. We have to talk. Get in. What 
talking to, bro? Don't go any place yet. You gotta hear me out on this. You it's can't about drive and talk, bro. Michelle. Oh, you right. know her, don't you? You don't have to rub her out. Just make her disappear. You oh, know her? You know yeah. Her. I've been with her a few times. She's a good egg, Tom. Just maybe not so bright. She doesn't deserve to get plugged just because she likes oh, listening. Oh, no, to man. Tom. The boss said you get her. You she'll leave town. When she understands what will happen otherwise, yeah, she'll leave. Here's oh, no. your hundred. This Rhyme Me episode of her. Power. And Tommy's sure white she gets far away. Okay, sir. I'll see what I can do. That's all I'm asking. All right, Let's sir. go. All right, Sam. Sam is the homie, though. I, I like him. Would I, would I get killed for him? I don't know, bro. Michelle. She's the one from the racetrack, right? Tom, that was the last time we're ever going to talk about her. Ever. I told you what I had to ask, and you listened. Gotta leave it there. Okay. I can respect that. Keep your head when you get into the hotel. Find your mark and don't act suspicious. The manager thinks he's untouchable. You can probably walk right up to him. Anything else I should know? Nah. Just don't take all day. Lottie died young, so there can't be much to say about him. When the bomb goes off, I'll do my thing. Got it. Drive to the Corleone Hotel. I wonder if that has anything to do with the actual Corleone. What's his problem? Like, do the Corleones actually exist? In this game? I, I don't remember them being in the game. Hey, handsome. Okay. Hey, not so pretty lady. You here for a girl? Drinks? I don't think that's any of your business. A girl. And I got some business with your manager, too. A girl? I can help you with. Come through. Find a girl you like, and you can both get better acquainted upstairs. There's no rush. So get a drink, relax, and enjoy yourself. Hey, good I'm afternoon, sir. Hey, what's, what's up, up bro? You ready? What you got for me? I need to talk to the manager. The cappuccino yeah, machine. Straight through to the lounge. You're with our uh, new business partners, I assume. Oh man, you don't know me. Let's see. You said uh, straight through. Who's this chick? You looking for a good time? Come this way, sir. Nah, I'm looking for a friend. Michelle. Sure you are. Come to my room and tell me all about it. I just want to talk. You know, I get to talk hear that. I bet you're not like all the other guys either, are you? No, we nah, not. Not really. Well, y'all know you're just leaving trash out here like this? It's not very classy. I hope the room looked better. You guys got one of those vibrating beds? Gotta put a quarter in there? Oh, we went 1930. What, like what? Five cents? Ten cents? Oh, it look nice in here. Yeah. What's up? What we doing now? Okay. Where's okay. Michelle? Upstairs in 208. That all you want? That's all I want. No, you lying. I wish they were all like you, sweetheart. Don't act like you don't like your job, bro. All right, let's see. We out. Is there anything in here? I mean, she made us come all the way up here just to tell us all that, but... Can I stock med kits? What'd she say, room 208? You treat women like this? You treat your mother like this? No, please! Bro, what you think you're doing, bro? Oh wait. Oh my bad bro, you was protecting the girl. Oh shit, my bad. Oh that motherfucker got away too. Can I ask you a question? I guess not. Joy, here we go. You Michelle? What's it to you? Fella named Sam is one of your regulars. Maybe there's a lot of guys named Sam. You know him. 
works for Don Celieri. Maybe you got him talking about our business from time to time, and maybe Don Morello offered you some money to spill what you heard. No, Sam, trust me, I, I don't say nothing, he knows that. Well, the Don's losing a lot of money because someone ah! can't keep their mouth shut. I was just bumping cars with some of Morello's girls. Mm. I didn't mean nothing by it. So I'm sorry. So she was talking. I would never open my mouth again. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, this might be a thumbnail. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm scared then. But the fear of God in her. Don't you ever forget how it feels to be this scared. To know you're just one twitch away from a hole in the ground. Because if you ever show your face in this town again, they're going to find you with two in the head. Do you understand? <laughs> Lucky for you, Sam's got a big heart. Get dressed and make tracks. This place is going to blow soon. <laughs> Thank you. She's got a little ass on her, don't she? Just don't come back and we're square. She lying, cause the girls back in these days, the white girls, they ain't no ass. That's a lie. That's a lie. They lying right now. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. Kill the manager in the lounge. Okay. The friendship between the Corleone Hotel and the Morello family be long and fruitful. So I gotta do it when no one's looking. Can I talk to him? I love this city. Work hard. Are you with the Morello party, sir? Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe he'll come in the bathroom. Yeah, come in the bathroom. If you want a girl, head back to the bar. They'll come over and uh, keep you entertained. I'm trying to figure out. Do I kill this dude and everybody in here? Sorry, dude. I'm personal. If you want a girl, oh, they... damn, he shot a dude in front of him. He give a shit. Come on. Damn, I really like that shotty. What the hell? Uh. 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 Alright, come on, health, come back. I thought I picked up an extra mad kit, but I figured it would just come in or kick in. Maybe I already used it. Uh. Uh. Damn it. There's only one up here? Okay. With me! What the hell? He's dead! Oh. 
about to die. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Pick out, pick out. Get cover! You're in my sights. The following patrons, patrons, Mr. Bean, will tell you what you need. Because of the congressman, for Jim Jackson, all of us, let's be honest, there's no salary associates here, guys, we'll build up, give it. Got a safe in here. I'm a spy, Jim, Mr. Ray, we're going to swing it, Richard, for the marriage, thank you, Mr. Barnes. So, we're going to be with you, and I'm good for the support of your wise counsel. Please find what I was doing. We're always open with our friends, the Corleone. some money <laughs> damn it jump out the window bro onto another roof Man, if we gotta run a start, if we just dove right through, we could probably make it. I don't know, bro. I, I figure, I, I figure, I could do that. Oh, shit. Guess that works. It only took out a room. I thought it was supposed to take down the whole goddamn building. Take the goddamn med kit! Damn! Whoa, 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 whoa! Alright. No, I didn't. Can I hit you from here? Nope, oh, but you can hit me. Perfect game logic. He's gunning for him. 
Have to check my phone real quick. We can make that. Good run, we can make that. That shit is wooden. You just playing with your life. Okay. Seems like we're, we're going further up. we can find redemption in death. Now, William, he was a sinner, yes, but he was also a loving son, a protective brother, and a loyal friend. He got hella twin brothers. Virtues. We pray that his soul will find salvation. And now I believe one of Billy's closest and dearest friends would like to say a few words. Thank you, Father. Look, it's twin brother. I uh, I just wanted to pay my respects, Billy. I never said this, but I consider you my brother. <laughs> I can't even count all the times you saved my ass from a beating. So I don't know how I'm good. What do you do? Wait, that's the guy. That's the guy who killed Billy. <laughs> Wow, good job. Good job, Angelo. Dumbass. Who makes a mistake like that? Please, so, really so. Get out of my face, bro. Who's the other one? Oh, you right here. I see you. Oh. I'm here. You could have stopped all this days ago. Somebody across from me? Yeah. Where's it at? Somebody's across over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come here, bro. This is the way this city works. in the bullet. Whoa, another one? Enjoying 
Damn it. I don't know how to take cover. There we go. Finally got the original. What have you done? If you had kept your Murder mouth shut. In the house of God. These men were criminals, father. Thieves. Rapists. Killers. And God would have embraced them if they'd asked for forgiveness. Now, which one of these men might have sought redemption by working with the yeah, poor? Yeah, that's one of the things I don't like about the Bible. Which one might have saved just one You could be the evilest person None in the world, us, but all you gotta father. do is ask God for forgiveness. I thought he was dead! Bastard. Oh my God. This dude cannot die. If you have any confessions to make, you better do it quick. No more bloodshed, please! I'm sorry, Father. Consider this an act of... Divine retribution. That make us even. Sure. For now. For your trouble, father. For some boy clothes for your little boys you gotta hide him back there. You took theirs. Don't trust the Not Catholic a lot of Church. difference from where I'm standing. That should be enough dough to patch up the bullet holes. If you're above 13, you could trust quiet. them. <laughs> when the cops come, I'm surprised they're still even a religion. After all the stuff they go, we tell them the gunman who did this had East Coast accents. Must have been from out of town, right? East Coast accent. I won't lie. Is an Empire Bay on the East Coast? But I won't say anything at all. Good. Be a shame if we had to come back here. Where the hell were you? As soon as hey, I man. walked in the church, priests were off limits, to be honest. They followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place. That's what I thought. Guys. Come on, we gotta go. I mean, if, if that's your faith, you know, Catholicism and stuff like that. I mean, hey, that's just my opinion on the subject. The church has always been embroiled in situations where, you know, they're molesting little kids and stuff like that, so. Come on, come on. Today didn't turn out like I expected. Just drive. Or we'll end up in the back. Yeah, the suspect's been lost downtown. We'll find him. <laughs> Thanks again, Sam, for helping me out back there. I thought my time was up. It's not anything you wouldn't do for me. I know. But when you come that close to biting it, Christ, it's something. Don't need to tell me about that. Just don't think about it. Best lesson I could ever teach you. Don't think about anything. Alright, that was a pretty long episode. Appreciate the support, guys. Make sure to hit the like button for your boy. And until next time, stay true. Peace.